Hi, everybody. It's a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. Today, we're going to continue with the Yang Cheng Fu's 13 original postures. And this is a very uh, powerful but very short form that uh, uh, gives us an opportunity to really focus on what's going on inside the individual pro postures. So we're going to take it nice and slow. And if you're just tuning into the uh, to the, the the show here, yeah. don't worry if you can't follow along uh, or can't remember the uh, the whole form. It'll come to you. The important thing is you you actually experience it and feel what's going on, and then you'll get it as you as you repeat it. The um, so and we'll lead off with some uh, some standing meditation where we're going to explore some some wood chi exercises. So we're now in in springtime in the Chinese calendar. And so that's governed by the element of wood, which is an expansive yang kind of kind of energy. It's going from yin to yang. And uh, and wood is activates your liver, liver chi, and it uh, it feeds your uh, connective tissue system, your your sinews, your tendons, ligaments, fascia, etc. And to do this, we want to focus on the fingernails. So if you get imagine you have claws on your uh, where your fingernails are and your kind of talons, you're grabbing with those, uh, but very gently and uh, uh, without any muscular tension as we're doing this. And that stimulates the wood chi, and you'll feel it in your hands. You'll feel the uh, arms, your your hands will get uh, will get a nice uh, robust hit of the uh, the wood chi. So we'll get, we'll start off with that, and then we'll move into the yang cheng fu, where we we'll uh, go over the stuff we've taken so up to so far, and then we'll get into the uh, so a couple of new moves. All right. So once you uh, stand up, please. Okay, let's begin with the uh, the three pillars. Getting the uh, establishing that the uh, and if you're just new to this, this is three essential elements that we we want to have established before we begin to do anything. And the first one is uh, central equilibrium. That is, we want to connect up with the earth and align the body in such a way that we're getting this optimal connection between the yin chi of the earth and the yang chi of the heaven. And so you're going to feel the weight over the balls of your feet. Your knees are unlocked. And reach for the crown of your head, tuck in your chin, and open the jade pillow gate at the, at the base of your skull. So just feel that connection there. And you're sinking down into your feet, even as you're reaching up in with your with the crown of your head. So the um, relax your lower back and drop your tailbone. So you're leveling out your pelvis as you do this. You're getting nice and relaxed. So feel yourself sinking into the earth, even as you reach up to the heavens. The um, that reaching, it's not a pushing, it's not, there's no muscular tension, it's sort of elongating your neck as you, as you do that. Now feel the uh, reach and point and reach with your index fingers and try to feel into the, your index fingers. And what this does is it establishes your whole body energetic connection, your energetic coherence. Now feel your fingertips, feel those fingernails, your talons, your cat's claws, and just notice immediately you get this nice rush of chi to your hands. And this signals that the chi is connecting up throughout your whole body mind. And I'm going to release the qua, your hip joints, and just turn and just Relax your hip joints, get that feeling unlocking 
the hip joints. Reach with your elbows a little bit, your arms are slightly rounded. Feel those finger, fingernails. And so we have our three pillars, the central equilibrium, the energetic coherence, and we're unkinking the hose. That is, we're letting, we're removing the major blocks at the hips and the shoulders and at the base of the skull that allow the chi to flow more freely. So take a step out to the side. And we're gonna do a little, little standing meditation and explore some wood chi. So first you would just keep that central equilibrium Feel your fingernails, reach for the crown, and have that established in this posture. Now, sink into your heels and sink down a little bit and just drop down and feel your weight dropping down into the earth. And as you do that, you want to feel the fingernails as if you're, you reach up with the elbows so you're coming up a little bit with your hands as you're feeling into the into the the uh, into your hands feeling into the the space underneath your palms and feel how that connects up your arms your hands and you're feeling your feet as well Put to the balls of your feet and pull back with your hands. Reach back with your elbows. Feel that connection. Now go to your heels and reach forward with your, with your hands, with your fingers. And when you reach forward, you're opening up the space between your vertebrae. You feel that your back opening up as you reach out. Now go to the ball of your feet and pull back with your fingers. And now go to your heels and reach out. Pull back. And reach forward. Now rotate your palms, your forearms, so your palms are facing up, and go to the balls of your feet as you carry the energy coming up, and then round your arms, reach out with your elbows, and reach forward with your fingers and sink into your heels. And pull back with your fingers as you go into the balls of your feet. Reach out, go to your heels, and exhale as you do that. Inhale as you grab with those talons and, and go into the balls of your feet. And exhale as you go into your heels and reach forward. Hold your feet, pull back, inhale, exhale. Now, sink into your right leg as you reach forward with your left hand. Your right hand pulls back. So your left hand is reaching forward, palm down. Right hand, palm up. Sink into your left foot. Rotate your forearms, reach forward with your right hand as you sink into your left leg. Pull back with the fingernails. Sink into your right foot and reach out with your left hand. Rotate your forearms. Left foot, right hand. Feel that, relax your shoulders, you're reaching forward left foot, or right foot, left hand. 
Feel that. You can feel the fingernails. Left foot, right hand. Right foot, left hand. And continue this. See how much you can release muscular tension as you execute these moves. So what's the least amount of effort that you could put into this and really focus on the energy that you are generating? Good, and return to center. Sink as you circle your hands forward, reaching out, sink your legs, and then as your hands come down, your body comes up. Hands come down and in, and then sink good your heels as your hands come up, reaching out, and then balls of your feet as your hands come down and coming up. Heels circling out. Balls, feel those fingernails. And these are all simple exercises that you can do. You can break them apart and just do one of them. All these different variations here, they're based on the same principle. That is, we're holding poles in opposition to generate energy. Now go the opposite direction. Coming up as your hands come down. Sink as your hands come out. Relax your arms and your shoulders as much as you can. Really feel the chi moving. Can you turn sideways so people can see that? Sure. We're turning sideways. So, we're, so here we are. We're. Um, Hands coming up, uh, so our uh, hands coming up, sinking, and then reaching. Body comes uh, as the hands come down. Body comes up. Sink as the hands come up. Hands come down. Body comes up. Reversing it. Sink as the hands come up. Body comes up and the hands come down. Good. Uh, now hold that, but feel those motions. Feel the motions simultaneously forward and back. All those motions, just feel into that. Don't think about it, just feel it. And just allow that energy potential to be imprinted in your, in your, in your awareness. So it's a recreatable potential of energy. And just feel into the energy in your hands as you do so. And energy circulating throughout the whole body. You may notice that, that your body temperature starts to rise as we start to generate more chi. It's perfectly okay. Yeah. Hands come down, put your heels and sink. Yeah. 
reach out with your elbows and just hold this posture and feel the chi in your hands as you do this. Step in, take a deep breath, inhale, put the balls of your feet and then exhale, go into your heels and press down and throw away the chi. Okay, let's do the Yang Chen Fu's 13 original postures. I'd like you to feel that, that recreatable potential of energy there, that wood chi, and have it there at your disposal whenever you want as you're doing the, the, the Tai Chi form. So I'm going to do it with my, uh, with my back to you this time, just so you can, uh, it might be easier to follow along that way. We're going to get, going to go through the uh, the movements we've done so far and uh, uh, let's start let's start off with that and then if we would uh, we'll see what the uh, what the time is like we we'll go through it I'm going to talk you through the uh, through the various moves so so begin get your three pillars set up here. Feel the balls of your feet, reach with the elbows, feel your fingernails, your quad is open. Reach with the crown of your head, tuck in your chin. And begin, feel, feel your weight over the, uh, the heels of both feet. Now feel the heel of your right foot and spiral down to the left. And then turn to the right. So you're loading up that right foot. So you got about 90% in your right leg now. Pick up the left heel. About 95%. Then step out to the side. You feel the left heel and sink into your left foot, bowing down to the right. You're loading up the left leg now and turn, pivoting on the right heel. And check your central equilibrium, your energetic coherence. Feel those fingernails. And then go to the balls of your feet, reach with your wrists. Arms are very relaxed, shoulders are very relaxed. Your wrists are coming up, fingers are hanging. And then now reach with the fingers and open up your back between your shoulder blades. Extend outward. Feel the chi connecting up between your arms. Now feel the heels. Think of your heels. Reach down with your elbows. Bend your wrists so the fingers are elevated as you come down. And then go into the balls of your feet and reach down with the fingers. Open the joints. Really feel that young expansion in this posture. Feel yourself loading up with the energy. Now feel your left heel spiral down to the right. And then turn go to the ball of your left foot as you reach out with your right hand. Reach down with your left. Everything's very relaxed, very uh, releasing the muscular tension. Now feel the right heel and spiral down to the left and then turn to the right. Go to the ball of the right foot and turn and reach with both hands. Left heel, spiral down to the right and turn. Go to the ball of the left foot and Reach with both hands. 
on the left side. Notice that the elbows are dropped, but not dropped like that. They're just, they're just, the arms are extended, but we're not rotating the arm so the elbow comes up. We have that, the, the angle. What this does is it opens the, the energy gate in the, in the shoulders whenever you rotate your, your elbows down like that. You'll feel the, ball, the heel of the right foot spiral down to the left and turn. Go to the ball of the right foot and this is where we go to the young phase of this particular move. Every time we move to that, that ball of the foot, you're reaching out. Now feel the heel of the right foot spiraling down to the right. So you're just releasing at the claw. You're just sitting down a little bit as you prepared. You're loading up that right leg so that you can pick up the left heel and then step out a little bit with the left foot. And you want to be able to really support yourself with that right leg as you do that. So you're really getting confidence of being able to to load up the, the one leg at a time, really support yourself. Now feel the heel of the left foot and you're spiraling down to the right. So you're loading up the left claw, you're spiraling down and then turn. Go into the ball of your left foot as you turn. This is that young expression. And step in with the right foot. Now feel the, so that's the um, uh, wave hands like clouds part of the movements there. And that we're going to go into a single whip now. Feel the heel of the right foot and spiral down to the right and drop your right elbow and the right hand forms a, a bird's beak like that. Your wrist is bent, elbow dropped. And you line that up. Your left hand is cupped like this, palm up underneath your navel. And you spiral down to the right and then put to the ball of your right foot and turn reaching out with your right wrist and turn 90 degrees so you're facing into into the corner and now feel the heel of the right foot and spiral down to the right so you're loading up that right leg so you can pick up the left heel and then step out with the left foot. Feel the left heel, set the left knee, push the left knee up so you're establishing a position with that. Reach out with the left elbow, left wrist, and hand. So your, your right arm is still sticking out, reaching out to the right, and now you turn and you're driving it with the with the left leg, you pivot on the right heel. So that you are able to establish a position. Your right leg is, is almost straight. Your left knee is over the center of your foot. And your right hand is out at 90 degrees. You want the wrist elevated about ear height. Left hand is pointing straight ahead. Elbows is dropped. So then you're going to the left heel, spiral down to the right, right hand comes up, left hand comes down, step in with the right foot. Really just feel that, pause a moment, just feel the, these poles in opposition here, where, you know, stretching the rubber band between the left and right hands. And now we sink into the heel of the, um, uh, the right foot, and spiral down to the left, right hand comes down, left hand comes up to about chest height, the right hand turns into a fist under your navel. So it's down here by the Dantian. And then you feel the ball of your right foot and turn back to center. And as you do that, you're on the heel of your left foot, reaching out with your left hand. So we have, we're now on the fist under elbow. So feel the ball of the, so going on to the next move, feel the heel of your right foot, spiral down to the right and step with your left foot, step out to the side a little bit. 
and then feel the heel of your left foot spiral down, set your knee and then spiral down to the right and then turn to the left. So you go to the ball, you turn to the left as you reach out with your fingers, reaching under the left arm. So your right palm is up, left hand, left palm is down. And then you feel the heel of the right foot and turn. And as you're turning, you're reaching, reaching with that right hand. And now you go into the ball of the right foot and reach out with the right hand, step in on the toe of the left foot. And now go to the ball of the right foot and turn. And this is a um, white crane spreads wings. The right hand is, notice it's slightly forward of the, uh, of the head, above the head, you're reaching, elbows are wide open, so it looks like, like this, it's a big posture. And uh, so we wanna, it's open, it's expansive. Now we feel the heel of the right foot and spiral down to the left, the right hand presses down, circles down, and then the left hand comes out and comes across, reaches out. Did you do that? Now go into the ball of the right foot, and as you go into more of a yang expansion here, reaching out with the right hand, and now go into the heel of the right foot as you spiral down to the right. You're loading up that right leg so you can Step forward with the left foot. Feel the heel of the left foot. Set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and then turn. Go to the ball of the left foot and reach and extend with the right hand. And notice again the back leg, the right leg is almost straight. You're Right arm is reaching out about three quarters of the way. It's not like this, not like that. It's about reaching out there, elbows dropped. The left hand is palm down. You're feeling those fingernails right now. Get that, that filling up with, with the wood chi. And cool. So this is as far as we, we got with uh, in the previous classes. Let's take a look at the next uh, the next movement. I'll do this facing you so you can see what my hands are doing and, and the like. Or I'll, I'll do it facing this way so you can you can see it a little bit better. So we're, we're starting with uh, with the uh, here we go. Starting with the the white uh, the the brush knee twist step. Notice that in this posture my there's a kind of a straight line from my back leg up my back to the top of my head. So there's there's a there's a definitely a forward thrust to this uh, to this movement, and that's characteristic of this this style. So now feel the. Uh, let me do it facing you first. So so we're here like this, and what we're going to do is. This move here, we go like that and into play guitar. So it looks looks like this. So we're here. We reach out, come back, step back, and play guitar. Okay. So the uh, we begin by feeling the heel of the the left foot and spiraling the quad down to the to the left, so we're loading up that left leg. So like this, uh, loading up the left leg. Notice that that the quad is moving, but my body is, is is not making a big turn. It's mostly happening right here. I'm actually exaggerating a little bit, but so you're you're here like this. So my hand is not going to move a lot in this in this posture. Okay, so until the left hand comes out like this. So what's happening, I, I kind of like this movement because it's very unusual. You're twisting, you're rotating your left forearm 
to the palms. Now, you're going to end up with this. You spiral down to the left, and you're, you're going to look like this, which is uh, a little unusual for, for most of the Tai Chi forms that I've encountered, and I, I like it for that. And, and even in this, this movement, the way Master Yang does it, he doesn't always do it that way, but I, he does uh, emphasize that on, on some occasions. So we're here to you, you spiral down to the left and then you reach out with the left hand. So your left hand is reaching out, rotating your forearm so that the palm is facing to the left and the right hand is like that. This is kind of a similar kind of a, a thing you see in a lot of, a lot of internal martial arts, they get this kind of, kind of posture, right? You get you do this, your hands are coming out so that arm is rotated, the left, the one hand is rotated and the other hand is, is coming along like that. So it's, it's a, a, a variation of that type of energy. So we're here like this, we're reaching out, thumb down, and both arms are extended out. Now you're gonna feel the heel of your back foot, your right foot, and spiral down to the right. And as you do that, you're gonna rotate the palms the opposite way. So you're now you're pushing this way with your hands. So we're going from here, brush knee, to sink into the left leg and reach out, thumb down. Now sink into the right heel and turn. So you're loading up that back leg and your, your whole body turns about 90 degrees and, and your, your uh, uh, left hand, it has the thumb is up now. The right thumb is down. So now we're going, we're doing the same thing here. We're getting that kind of a ward off kind of energy uh, happening on this side. So now you come back with your left foot on the heel. So we're come back with the left foot on the heel and reach out with your left hand and and your your right. So you want to line them up so they're parallel. So notice that that they they line up that way. The right hand is is uh, at the level of my uh, left elbow, my right palm and my left elbow line up, but I have the, I have the, the hands there, they're parallel like that. So oftentimes you'll see people, they'll drop one hand or they'll, they'll have hands going different directions and that really interrupts the energy of this. You want to seriously get them moving in the same direction. And uh, so let's try that again. The uh, starting from the brush knee, so left heel, set the left knee, spiral down to the left, and reach out with your left hand, thumb down. So reaching, you're, you're reaching, so the arm is relaxed, but it's extended as if you're reaching out to grab something with those claws. The right hand is extended, but it's uh, not going out quite as far. So it's just where you know, the elbow is dropped. The left hand, the elbow is almost pointing sideways. Right elbow is dropped. Go into the right heel and spiral down to the right. And as you do that, you're, you're loading up. So the energy is going down through your heel. You're, you're rooting that way and the Chin is pressing out to the right now. So then you go into the ball of the right foot and turn, bring your left heel back and onto the heel and set up your arms reaching out with the fingers, with those claws. You got, you're extending out there and feel that connection all the way through from your from the, your fingernails all the way down through, through your feet and into the earth. And uh, just to get the, get the sense of this, you're reaching up with the crown of your head, you're reaching out with your arms. Um, notice that the elbows are dropped, but 
not collapsed. So there's there your shoulders are relaxed, but even so you're extending outward. So dropping is is it's only uh, it's it's a cumbersome word for for this because it's not dropped, but it's you're extending, you're reaching with the elbows, but they are lower. So rather than dropped, I'd say the elbows are lower than the wrists. The wrists are at about shoulder height. Okay, so let's uh, uh, let's take a look at that from from the uh, single whip. So we'll start here and you know, the um, you know, so left heel spiral down to the right. Step in, reach up with the right hand, right wrist. Left hand down, right heel, spiral down to the left. Right hand down, left hand up. Right hand, a fist underneath your, underneath your navel. Left hand at chest height, and then onto the heel of your left foot, reach out with your left hand. So the right hand is reaching down, the left hand is reaching out. Those are your poles in opposition, okay? So now feel the right heel spiral down to the right. Step with the left foot. Left heel spiral down to the right. Set your left knee and then turn. Go into the ball of your left foot. Turn and reach with the fingers. Palm, left, right palm is up. Left palm is down. Right heel spiral down to the left. So you're loading up the, the right claw. You're loading up the right leg so that you can turn. You're turning, turning, turning with the ball of your right foot as you extend here. There's this young expansion. And then you step in with your on your left toe and turn and white crane spreads wings. And you go into your right heel, spiral down to the left, press down with your right hand. And then turn and feel the ball of your right foot as you turn, reaching, reaching with that left hand and reaching up with your right. Feel the heel of your right foot as you spiral down into the right leg. This is yin. We're going into a, a uh, we're setting up, we're establishing our base so we can step out with the left foot. Set the left heel, spiral down to the Set the left knee, spiral down to the right, and then turn. The left hand sweeps across, and the right hand reaches forward. Straighten your back leg, and now feel the left heel spiral down to the left and reach out with your left hand, thumb down. Right heel spiral down to the left, and turn, rotate those forearms. And then step back into the ball of the right foot and onto the left heel and play guitar. Turn and step in. Take a deep breath, inhale. And press down and throw away the chi. You need to feel the sink of your heels and feel the yin. And take a moment and just allow yourself to become a channel for the big chi, for the chi of the heavens, the yang chi of the heavens, the yin chi of the earth. Feel it coursing through your body, renewing, replenishing, healing, whatever needs whatever needs fixing. Yeah. Please have a seat. Ah. How was that? 
Good, 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 good. Any uh, anything you'd like to share with with the the folks at home? To uh, uh, any points of illumination? Hey, Lynn. I really felt um, that the claws were extending the space between my wrists and my, I mean, the, making my wrists opening up. opening up all of the kind of bones in there and, and ex expanding that out and making a better connection of the arm out into the fingers. So that felt great. So your talons were coming all the way. My talons were coming, yeah, from a long ways, I guess. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Jonathan. That was interesting what, what Scott had said earlier about his teacher talking about feeling the fingers from the inside. It, it's like when you feel the nails, that kind of is what happens automatically. It's like you're pressing against the roof of your, your hand or something. So you're because I don't think right nobody accesses your nails from the outside in right it, it's kind of inside up so it's just it seems like another way to just say that or feel that I should say yeah yeah definitely I feel it that way I feel like you know every time I grab those it's like you know I'm I have to activate it from the inside yeah very powerful cool. very good anybody else any other uh Tips for uh, folks or questions or insights? Valerie. Um, well, I really appreciate that we're going over the form so minutely um, because there are things that I hadn't gotten before. I mean, you know, obviously the, the balls of the feet, the heels of the feet, but just there's a, I can't right off the top of my head say, what you have expressed tonight that it was like oh okay yeah that was that's a little different way to look at it it's just making things sharper without with being soft <laughs> does that make sense you know yes. more detail more detail and uh i gotta say i had kind of a uh well as always at work you know it's a little tense and it takes me a while to let go of that space between my shoulders. And definitely by the time we were done, it was like, what problem? <laughs> you know, it's all nice and open. Yeah. So really appreciate, like I said, the going over this. So um, fine tuning. It's really uh, good. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad uh, glad that's working because it, it sometimes I feel like I talk too much, but uh, no, mm -hmm. no, no. Okay, that's good. Because <laughs> I, I wanted wanted to you know bring it out in present time. This is a, a a completely new experience every time you do it. And what are we focusing on today? Kind of a thing, or this moment? What are we focusing on right now? And like, okay, and you can only talk about so many things each time. So you know, it's it's like it's it's something new every time I go through it. Richard, I was just going to uh, thank Scott about the connective tissue comments because I started thinking about the energy flow coming through the connective tissue as far back as I could feel it. Uh, mm -hmm. I got back. I got back about here. Nice. But I think that it should. You should be able to bring this from the spine. Uh, yes. So. Yes. Very, a great image for me. Thank you, Scott. Great. Terrific. So, yeah, when you activate the tensegrity of the system, you know, it's it's connecting up. And so it's a question of how much of that can I be aware of? Right. You know, how much can I feel? And the more you can, the more the more you activate it. The more... It's bigger and bigger. Yeah. So it's great. Terrific. Scott. I definitely have to second what Valerie said about, you know, going through it. And uh, I wasn't able to attend the classes. I, you know, I learned them through the video. So I definitely, there's a lot of things that I don't have, didn't have. So I definitely appreciate that. Um, I really, really, um, I mean, no, you've, we, you've said it and we've done it many times, but when we were doing the, uh, the wood chi meditation to, you know, try and do it with as little muscular effort and, 
just let everything kind of flow is you can never say it enough. Yeah. Right. It, you have to be reminded because the the preconscious mind is going to kick in and and do what it it has been programmed to do until you tell it, no no we're we're doing it a different way now. So it uh, requires that uh, that conscious mindful attention. Terrific. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Thank Thanks, you Maria. Maria. Thanks, Maria. Thanks, Thanks Rick. Bye-bye.